Right, we're with um, Miss Celia and Mr Brox and we're going to have a, a talk about your time in Norway. Um, how long have you both worked at the school? Um, I've worked here for 17 years and uh, I came as deputy head um, and I'm going as deputy head as well and I've done all sorts of jobs in between here. So yes, yeah, 17 years, long well time. Mr Brox? I came in uh, 1991. I can't even work out how many years that is, but it's quite a few. Um, I came as an RE teacher. Um, at the time, I was uh, really the only person available, so I wasn't um, I wasn't a massive big choice. Um, in my time in the school, I've been um, assistant head of sixth form, head of sixth form. Uh, what else have I been? And assistant head. Which is my current job. And um, um, you've said you um, specialise in RE. What about you, Miss? What, have you, well, what subject did you specialise in? Language is my um, proper subject, and so uh, when I came, I was teaching German, which is my main language, and French. Um, and then since then, I've taught PSE, and there came a time when um, I couldn't persuade anybody as the timetable to teach child development, and so I taught it, and I've been teaching it for a few years now. <laughs> so there we go. And then, um, what's your, both your favourite memories at the school? Um, I've got lots. I've had a lovely time here. Um, so many, really. I find it difficult to pin on one particularly, but I've had um, lots of adventures with lots of different students so um i find it difficult to just label and stick with one yeah. um, lots of funny things i can remember you, you do seem always remember the visits the trips that you've done mm -hmm. um we took a group of students to france six form students yes yeah. that was yeah. great fun with mr john he came as well and uh, yeah i think everybody enjoyed that had a great time there yeah. it was good fun. yeah, yeah. Um, can you remember your first day here at Norbaker? Yes, I can remember arriving and going into my office and <coughs> thinking, what do I do now? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and thinking, you know, I'm not teaching all day. Um, but then very soon you've got so much to do, you can't teach all day. But that was my first impression. And also, I came in April. And there was cherry blossom everywhere. And I always remember the cherry blossom. And I'm sorry we haven't got quite so many cherry blossom trees left now in the new building. Yeah, I can remember. I, I came in April too. Um, my first day, I came from have been out of teaching. I've been working for a local authority for a, a couple of years. And so I was full of doubts. I wondered, could I still actually manage to cope with teaching? So I was a bit leery, a bit scared really, yeah. of it all. Um, can you remember the old building? Do you prefer it to the new building? Or what should you remember? Oh, I can remember the old building, obviously. But um, I think we've got such a wonderful, wonderful building here. I absolutely love this new building. And I think it's made a huge mm -hmm. difference daily to turn up into a, a bright, light, <coughs> clean, well-maintained building, apart from the leaks, of course. <laughs> mm. Yeah, similarly, really, but I think the thing that is um, very special about Noel Baker is the people. So I think whilst the buildings, yeah, one thing, but I think it's the, the people, and certainly the new building is fantastic, but so the people and the people in the old building are fantastic too. Yeah. Um, do you think our school has improved since you've arrived at Noel Baker? No, there have been lots of changes, I would say. Um, uh, I mean, essentially, <laughs> there are still students and lessons and, and everybody uh, wanting the best for futures for children. And a lot of the changes and pressures have come from outside, I think, from uh, government and from Ofsted. Um, the results have improved over the time. A lot of results have improved a great deal. Um, over the time I've been here, so that's good. Um, and I think I think teaching has become a much more pressured job over the last, well, over my career. I've been teaching for over 30 years. And over that time, it's become 
a lot tougher as a job teaching? Yeah, I, I think the, the biggest change is the profile of the school in the community. When I first came here, uh, Noel Baker wasn't a very popular school in the, in the local community um, and had lots of problems with how people saw it. Um, and Merrill was a much more popular school at that time. Um, and it's very interesting to see that now Sadly for Merrill, I take no great glory in that, but things have really reversed in that direction and, and we're seeing a very, very different way. Um, but the people in those days who came to Noel Baker were very special too. It was, it was really about how people saw us out there and that has definitely changed. I can tell there's some ups and downs last year's here and is there anything that you've struggled with whilst you've been working here? Mm -hmm. Lots of day to day things. I think going? yeah, I think it's I think being a teacher is a struggle because you're always trying to be better. And so you do all the time think about could I have done that better, could I have done that differently, uh, is it my fault, I thought I explained that really well but I might as well have been talking to a cupboard because the students haven't got it <laughs> and you always look and say well, how could I do that differently, um, did I get that call right when you discipline a student or whatever, so I think there's always those challenges, they're almost inherent in being a teacher, you can't escape them, they're all there, they're there every day, they're there today, they'll be there tomorrow, <laughs> they were there at the start. Yeah. I think I would say I've been very proud of Noel Baker and so I haven't liked it um, if there's ever been any negative comment from outside about Noel <laughs> Baker. So I am fiercely loyal and so I don't like any, in fact, I try to fight any offset judgments when they're here that aren't fully supportive, and I, I, I think I stand for Noel Baker within the community and within the local authority. I would always say, have positive things to say about what we do here. Always. Yeah. It seems like you've had a really nice time in Noel Baker so far. You've got all you miss the most about. The people. All the people. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much for talking to us. We'll all miss you. Uh, thank you. <laughs> thank you.